Gymnastics is a constantly evolving sport, and the level of difficulty and diversity of the skills being performed has largely increased over the past decade. However, not every skill is judged fairly, which lessens the number of gymnasts attempting them, and they ultimately become rare. In this video, we'll take a look at 5 undervalued skills in the code of points. The Sights Also known as a Maloney Full, this uneven bar's transition consists of a pike sole circle backward through handstand with flight and a full turn to hang on the high bar. It was submitted by German gymnast Elizabeth Seitz at the 2011 World Championships and given an E rating by the Federation, since all transitions were and still are capped at E. The version with no turn is rated D. The one with a half turn is rated E. So it would make sense for the full twisting one to be rated F. However, that's not the case. The current rating doesn't encourage gymnasts to train such an intricate skill, especially since it must be connected to another skill to avoid a dead hang deduction. The Komova 1 The Komova 1 faces a similar scenario as the previous skill. Named after Russian gymnast Victoria Komova, it consists of a clear pike circle backward through handstand with flight and a half turn to hang on the high bar. She successfully submitted it at the 2010 Youth Olympic Games, and it was also given an E value by the FIG. The reason why this one should be rated higher is because of its root. Throughout the code, in-bar skills are rated a tenth higher than their counterparts from different roots like toe-ons, stalders, and clear hip circles. So to keep the same level of consistency and logic, the Komova 1 should be rated F, one tenth higher than other similar transitions with half turn but from different roots. The Sheep Jump The Sheep Jump is one of the most technically challenging skills in the code of points. Its requirements include hip extension, upper back arch, and head release with feet to the crown of the head. In 2017, this dance element was downgraded from a D to a C. Since then, the number of gymnasts performing it has vastly decreased. It used to be a staple in many Chinese gymnasts' beam routines, but even they, who possessed the flexibility and technical prowess to flawlessly execute it, chose not to, because it's simply not worth the risk, since there's so little reward. 3.5 Twist this F-rated acrobatic skill consists of a salto backward in a stretched position with three and a half rotations. The double twist is valued at C, the two and a half at D, and the triple twist at E. So technically, it makes sense that three and a half is rated F. But when compared to a double layout, which carries the same value and it's easier for most gymnasts, is it really worth the risk? The three and a half requires a huge amount of power it has a forward landing which makes it harder to stick. It's riskier for the knees and ankles due to the possible under-rotation of the landing and is prompt to twisting form deductions like crossing the legs or feet. Some gymnasts have connected a front tuck to the 3.5. Not only does it get a .2 bonus, but it allows them to cheat the last quarter turn. In most cases, they are still twisting when they hit the floor and begin the forward salto, which can potentially lead to injuries. A G rating would actually be justifiable. Double Front Dismount This beam dismount consists of a double salto forward in a tucked position, and it's currently rated F. The nature of the skill favors the really explosive and dynamic gymnasts since it's performed without a hand-supported element. A G value would be a more reasonable rating, matching the double Arabian. On floor, both skills have the same E rating, but on beam, one is valued higher than the other. Not only that, but in the 2017 to 2021 code, F and G dismounts earn a .2 bonus when connected to a hand-supported element, like a round off or a back handspring. Since the double front is performed by itself, it receives no bonus, which is why it's even more discouraging to attempt such a powerful dismount. Do you agree with the current rating of these skills?